Hey everyone, Mr. Happy here, and in this video, we're going to be doing sort of a delayed thoughts video on something that got announced. I just haven't been doing a lot of YouTube videos as of late, which, my bad, just some stuff been going on with me, but we're finally getting back on that horse, and there's a Final Fantasy XI fan event happening in December. That's video worthy, because this is not something that I thought I'd be talking about on this channel in 2018, not especially after everything that's happened with Final Fantasy XI over the past three years in particular. So, uh, before we get anything started though, this article I am reading, uh, at least the one I'm using directly for this video, is coming off the Gamer Escape website. You guys should be familiar with them. They do tons of news and pieces. They also have their own podcast that they do on occasion regarding stuff related to Final Fantasy XIV, but they also cover a bunch of other stuff as well. Uh, we've had uh, Fusion or Raffle Dragoon, we've had him on State of the realm i did a, a co-stream with him from pax west when we were watching uh, the live letter for patch 4.4 from there so we've uh, collaborated with them a lot uh, we uh, view their content a lot so i'll include a link in the description be sure to go and give them likes hits all that great stuff but anyway a final fantasy 11 fan event in 2018 dude three years ago they said hey we've got one more major thing coming out and then we'll do like we have like a year's worth of minor updates and that's it. That's all we have planned at the moment. I was actually having this discussion on stream, and this fan event's a big deal because the last time Final Fantasy XI was actually publicly marketed to anyone, like the last time all the news websites were talking about them, was when they were talking about the end of their game. So to think that that was the last time that they've continued to update it, they've continued to support it, that's never really been a thing that they've talked about. Everyone thinks that was it. They did Rhapsodies, they did a year, and it was done. But two years since then and they've still been putting out content pretty much every month even if most of it is uh minor updates there still have been major pieces of content that have come out in that time so having a fan event in 2018 is no doubt going to be a big move for final fantasy 11 naoki yoshida is the one that we get a lot of our news about final fantasy 11 from because he is head of business division five i believe it is which handles all of the mmo operations and as such uh, he's actually the one who commented on it recently in a dual shockers interview and i think they cite that here as well but uh, Fan Event 2018 will be held in Japan at, and I, oh, I don't even want to announce that. It's in Japan on December 2nd, because I'm not going to be able to announce where it's actually being held. Uh, I'll, I'll say the Ren Ren Hall. How about that? Uh, but December 2nd, that's soon. This wasn't like something they gave a whole lot of notification to everyone about. Um, there's a Nico Nico channel uh, where the event showcased a bunch of information, guests, merchandise, uh, they're going to have a musical performance, they're going to have an appearance by the composer for the game, they're going to have a bunch of other Japanese celebrities, so it's a, again, it's a pretty big deal, this event that they're actually doing for Final Fantasy XI. Um, it also showed off some new merchandise, shirts, subligar, I, I want so if anyone goes to this event, can I get the subligar hand <laughs> I just, just out of principle, the fact that it exists is a pretty, pretty hilarious thing for me, but yeah, you can see there's, uh, I guess a little bag right here a little tote bag for 2400 yen and then you have like that's a shirt i know some old school final fantasy 11 people who would love to have that shirt i didn't even i don't even like that piece i'm even a big fan of the brigandine and i think that that's a pretty cool thing uh they also have just a straight up final fantasy 11 shirt front and back or a, or a hoodie i guess i should say as well as it uh, looks like a bunch of stickers as well as a sticker collection at least those could be stickers they could be coasters because this is 4400 Unless it's for a set of the stickers or something like that. Uh, but anyway, yeah, there's uh, there's a bunch of stuff right there. Now, uh, this is this is coming after... There's been some comments. Uh, yeah, and I, there is the quote here from Naoki Yoshida. So, we're expecting actually some sort of big announcement regarding Final Fantasy XI at this event. As many of you know, Final Fantasy XI had a whole huge plan when it announced that it was going to be technically ending way back in 2015. And I use those air quotes very, very heavily. Uh, they announced that there would be two mobile games. One of them would be Final Fantasy Grandmasters, which I have played. It was out in Japan for some time and apparently it didn't do too well. Uh, I guess they had issues with the monetization pattern. It was also only out in Japan. But it was a mobile game focused in Vanadil, and I actually really liked it. Uh, it's one of my favorite mobile games that I've played, but with the language barrier, I, I couldn't really stay invested in the game as much as I maybe would have liked. So uh, there was always that, and for, they've remade it like twice, and I don't even think, I don't even know if the servers are online for that game anymore, so it's rather unfortunate. But the other thing is a straight up Final Fantasy XI mobile version. Now, it's not the same Final Fantasy XI, it's not the same servers, it's not the same general game as the one that's available currently on PC and PC only. It's not the same as the one that was out on the PS2, it's not the same as the one that was out on the Xbox 360. It's basically a completely original version of Final Fantasy XI, uh, Vanadil's world, but 
built for a mobile device, meant to be a mobile, massively multiplayer online RPG. And we've heard so little about it. It's being co-developed by Nexon, although Square Enix is ultimately the one still making the majority of the decisions, I'd have to imagine. Some people aren't always super excited when they hear about mobile games being worked on, but Square Enix has a pretty good track record with their mobile games, so them being the primary ones in charge, you know, I'm pretty hopeful for that based on some of the other experiences that I've had, even if uh, it is being co-developed by another company. Now, Naoki Yoshida commented on this in a DualShockers interview uh, not too long ago. I think it was like maybe a month ago, maybe a month and a half. And uh, he talked about how this year they have a lot of patches, a lot of planes. You might be hearing a motorcycle that's just been sitting out there revving its engine for the past 30 seconds. This year we have a lot of patches and a lot of plants. We're going to talk about it in the coming months, even if it's not a new expansion. Yet the team and the producers want to liven up the project, so you're going to see the results in the next few months of work within the team as well as PR teams. You'll feel that the game is still going strong. Now here's the big thing. This is specifically talking about the PC version of Final Fantasy XI. At least we have to kind of glean that from talking about specifically Final... They're not talking about Final Fantasy XI Mobile here. They're being asked about Final Fantasy XI, the, the PC version that we have, the main MMO. So the fact that they're trying to liven up the project and they see like a little bit of merit in kind of giving it the publicity to say, hey, you know what? We didn't stop making content for the game. Let's use... Let's do some PR and let people know that the game still definitely exists for maybe some of those old... Uh, hardcore people that maybe want to come back and check it out. And uh, I'm curious to see what will actually be born from this. If they have a lot of patches planned, if they have some interesting concepts planned, uh, it could get pretty exciting. Many of you may know I actually did have a, a longer than usual stint in Final Fantasy XI earlier this year, where I actually finished an old, uh, an old ninja relic, and I've actually almost completed it up to item level 119, though I haven't touched... Uh, some of the further upgrades in Dynamis Divergence, which is a revamped version of Dynamis that uh, released in its entirety over the course of this last year, as well as a bunch of other patches that happened somewhere in between with quality of life updates, minor content updates, and stuff along those lines. So with all that in mind, um, I'm really curious to see, because I said that I rather enjoyed Final Fantasy XI in its current state. So if they have more stuff planned for it, then we can probably expect more stuff to pop up on the channel over the next coming months. But I wouldn't give to go to this event, man. It's, it's, it would be really last second. It's right after the Final Fantasy XIV Fan Festival. But just the idea it's happening it makes me want to go, like, really, really bad. Um, but yeah, that's, we don't know. And the other thing, of course, and it's mentioned here in the article as well, maybe they do have something to share about Final Fantasy XI Mobile, which I also plan on covering. I covered Dissidia Opera Omnia on my NVIDIA Shield here, and I'd hope that I'd be able to run that similarly on this device as well. We're just going to have to wait and see. But it's exciting. It's exciting stuff. If anyone's going, please get me the Subligar hand. <laughs> I will pay you. Promise. I will pay you. I don't even think you can buy tickets. I think it's just an event. I, I, I don't know. I, I guess I haven't looked at the details itself, but I'd love to go. That's all I know. I also just want to go to Japan, so, you know, whatever. But anyway, just wanted to share this little announcement. Again, thank you to Gamer Escape for putting this article out. That's the first place that I saw it announced. That's the article I'm referring to right now. And again, their link is in the description of the video below. But anyway, let me know what you think about a Final Fantasy XI fan event. Uh, no expansions, but tell me what your kind of expectations are to come out of this fan event and the uh, PR that they're going to be doing around the game in the more recent times. But anyway, uh, be sure to like, favorite, subscribe, and share. And I'll keep you up to date with what we learn about the fan event next month. So be on the lookout for that right after the Final Fantasy XIV Fan Festival happens. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. And until then, take care.